I'm Phyllis Smith. Early voting is underway in West Virginia and Ohio. Our Chase Campbell talked to election officials in both states about turnout so far. Elections officials on both sides of the Ohio River say they're seeing a bigger turnout than any recent election for early voting. In Pleasant County, elections clerk Ryan McFarland says they've had around 500 in-person early voters as of Friday afternoon, just three days into early voting. That's more than they had during the entire two weeks of early voting for the 2024 primary. That's around almost, I believe, as 9% turnout already for this election. So uh, part of that is it'll make the polls less congested on election day, and it's setting us up for to have a high turnout for this election. McFarland attributes the turnout to voters feeling that this election has particularly high stakes. I'd say because it's a presidential uh, election and that it's such a contentious election. A lot of people are paying a lot of attention to the news. A lot of people are following this election. So a lot of people really wanted to get out as soon as possible to get their vote in. McFarland says the clerk's office was prepared to handle the high turnout. We have some really, really good poll workers that know what they're doing. So we kind of prepare for the worst and they always handle it really well. So we have all the supplies we need. Uh, they've all been trained, so I think we're set up in a good spot to get them going through the rest of the, the next seven days. Early voting in Ohio started earlier than in West Virginia. Deputy Director of the Washington County Board of Elections, Karen Pulaski, says that head start doesn't mean things are slowing down. To date, we've had 11,968 voters cast their vote, either here in the office or through absentee voting. That's a 20% voter turnout for the county, with election day and another full week of early voting still ahead. This is beating all numbers that we had in 2020. Of course, that was during a pandemic, um, but we still had 76 or 75.6 percent turnout in 2020. We're going to blow this one out of the water. Despite how busy they are, Pulaski says she doesn't want the fear of a long wait to keep people from casting their vote early. We have voters that call in and say, when's your least busy time? And I really can't answer that. I will tell you, Chase, though, that the, the lines that I've seen have just been maybe five people people um, length um, out our door and I don't think anybody has waited over than a minute and a half to get to vote here in the office. Elsewhere in the region, Jackson County, West Virginia has seen just over 2,000 early voters, a 10 percent turnout, and Wark County has seen 267 early voters. Early voting ends on November 2nd in West Virginia and November 3rd in Ohio. Chase Campbell, WTAP News. Turning to the weather, it's a little